Good morning, everybody. <laughs> we just had a good walk this morning. Um, Our Lord's Prayer walk, Lord's and we just posted that video yesterday. Yes. And, on the uh, awesomeness of it. And with our new lifestyle, we're going to um, make an awesome smoothie and show you the ingredients to a really healthy um, smoothie. And along with that, uh, Aaron will be reading some scripture, and uh, I'll just show you the ingredients that, that we put, put in this. So first, um, you can use any blender, but we always recommend a Vitamix mm -hmm. if, if you can afford They're it. worth the money. They're so worth the money. Yeah, save up and get one because we've had it for years and it's amazing. Yeah, it's just awesome. You can even make soups and So with a dips. Vitamix that has different measurements, one, two, three, four, I usually put water up to two. Mm -hmm. And I use only the best Zephyr Hill spring water. <laughs> not familiar with Zephyr Hills, that's a, um, a city in Florida, uh, kind of central Florida. And they have a spring. Florida's filled with awesome springs. And put a little bit of almond milk in there. Get some nice protein. So we're at two right now and then I fill it up to get it to three. Yeah. I think I'm just going to stay back here so since you're going back and forth. Get some peanut butter. Oh yeah, peanut butter. That's the secret ingredient secret that makes ingredient. it really tasty. And raw organic protein. Uh, Garden of life. You can get this on Amazon. I think it's how much mm -hmm. is it? Like 40 bucks, 30 bucks? I think it's like under 30 if you do a subscription or like 33 and it has a whole bunch of probiotics and enzymes and it's vegan, dairy free, and soy free. Now you can make the smoothie without this stuff, but with it, it's so much more delicious. This is chocolate, so the chocolate and peanut butter mix is really nice in the morning, and it's really filling. Yeah, it's really good. So the next step is I take take a flat scoop of this and throw it in there. And then take some peanut butter. Take a nice, just a regular spoon, like that. Mm. Yum. And I make sure I clean the spoon. <laughs> and then we'll take. You can use spinach. Uh, sometimes we'll use kale. Yep, and we just put we put bags of it in the freezer. So next ingredient is the greens. And we kind of get it to about that height because you can always push it down with some things. You see, it's almost, almost to the top. He's just pushed it down. Now, we use frozen fruit. You could use all kinds of frozen fruit. They have the tropical mix or the berry mix we get this at walmart or you can go to aldi's or whatever um but the cherry berry blend is amazing it's really good and the you know berries have i think are lower sugar on the glycemic index so they're they're nice and uh, you want to get a close-up shot of this okay not to put too much because the stuff is kind of expensive just about that much mm -hmm. i think is good and we've tested this time and time again, and we kind of got, got this down to a perfect science with this smoothie. I like to use two bananas, and I think that just makes it right. You don't need to have that many, but it's like the perfect flavor. Yeah, nice and creamy and yummy, yummy. And I want to share a little prayer that we've said, that we've been um, saying before we start this up. Yeah, we actually got it from the Jesus Calling devotional book. And it's, it says, uh, Holy Spirit, 
think through us, live through us, and love through us. Whenever we get uh, stinky thoughts or whatever, we feel like um, the enemy is pulling us away. We say those words and it always kind of helps restart, mm -hmm. bring us back closer to God. So Yeah, and it's helping us, um, the Holy Spirit, to work with us to eat healthier and just take get better care of ourselves so we can be a vessel to serve him. So this this is why we thought it would be a good opportunity to um, do the smoothie because I have had several friends ask me how we do it. So Pete thought it was a great idea to do it. And I said, hey, let's, let's show, them, yeah. show them what we do. So we just take everything down to one and down to the variable here. We just turn it on. It starts off really slow. Mm -hmm. Then we slowly move it up to five. I grind up for a little bit. And move it up to ten. And then kick it out high! That's it. And um, I just wanted to read a scripture today that we did, which I thought was really good. Um, probably can't see the, the words from this, but it's Psalm 91. And I thought it was a really perfect thing to use for starting your day. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For it is he who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. So I thought that was a really fitting oh, that's really good, prayer to have before in, in the morning time. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> He's got a whole bunch of stuff on us. <laughs> we have our Rolling Stones um, cups. But anyways, I hope everybody has a great day, and we're looking forward to ours and um, God leading it. Thanks. God bless you. God bless you.